let's take a look at outputs. So I'm gonna go back to Terraform here and I think it's actually right here, but yeah, variables and outputs and we'll go output values. And this is just a way to get an outputted value. And this is actually a really good example where we might want the private ID or the public ID. So we'll scroll on down below here. Um, and this has its own section, so we'll paste that there. And this is private ID and that is fine, but I might wanna get something a little bit more fun. Uh, so we'll go here and just kind of see what we can get. So we saw private ID IP. Um, argument reference, right? So we have private ID, maybe we want public ID here. Public ID, IP, oops. Yeah, so let's give that a go instead. I think I'd prefer to get the public IP because this is a, is a public facing server. Okay. And notice that this is not the name, right name. We're gonna have to call this my server, right? And so outputs is gonna allow us to uh, see those values. So what we'll do, uh, I'm gonna run Terraform plan and see if there is any required change. I'm not sure if we have to deploy to get that output working. So we'll just run Terraform plan first. And notice it says changes to outputs and then it adds us as a plus. So if I was to type in Terraform um, outputs, there is commands for this. <laughs> I don't seem to remember off, off the top of my head. So we'll just look at it up here really quickly. Output. Uh, here it is. So, oh, it's Terraform output. Okay, sorry, it's not the plural. So we'll go here and type in Terraform output. I just wanna see if it'll actually output it without us doing it. So it says warning, no outputs found. So what we'll have to do, so the state file either has no outputs defined or all the defined outputs are empty. Please define an output in your configuration with output uh, or run Terraform uh, refresh to become available. So we don't need to run Terraform apply, I don't think. We probably could just run Terraform refresh. So let's give that a go and see what happens. Oops. Might be a good example of um, using Terraform refresh. Terraform refresh is a command that is going to make the state file match whatever the, the remote instance is. So we already have an instance up there. And so that's what it did. So it's probably a better example to use output. So now if we type in Terraform output, we should be able to get that value there. Only if you type it right though. Okay, so there it is. And if we really wanted to be in particular, we could say instance IP address. I really don't like the name of that. I might just change this here. So we'll just say um, public IP. Okay, I'm not sure if we can just change it on the fly there. Let's see what happens if we do that. Yeah, see it's still uh, the old one. So in that case, I'll just type in Terraform refresh and see what happens. Okay, and notice the old one is still there. So I think in that case we'd have to do, because this doesn't exist in our output files anymore. So I think it uh, because refresh just adds, I don't think it's going to remove anything. Uh, well, actually it would, if the server was gone, it would do that. So, but anyway, if we type in Terraform outputs, we get, do we get both of them? We do. And so in that case, I think we would want to do a Terraform plan and see if there's any differences here. Yeah, notice it's gonna remove it there. And so then that's how we'd have to get rid of it. So we just say Terraform apply. And we'll just say yes. And that's our opportunity to update our tags and also get rid of this output. So you can see refresh doesn't work in all cases. Um, and so now if we type in Terraform output, you get a list there. And I just wanna say like public ID just to get the exact one there. Uh, IP. <laughs> Okay, cool, so that, that works great, so that's outputs.